If you've never worked through building a GitHub Actions workflow before, a useful exercise is to build a simple workflow with a single job to check the version of your developer SDK on your build agent. Let's build that simple workflow now. We'll start with a GitHub repository, just an empty demo repository that I've already cloned to my local machine. We're going to create a simple build.yaml file, and we're going to create this in the .github workflows folder. Now, the name of this YAML file is really up to you. It's pretty arbitrary. It doesn't have to be any specific name to work with GitHub Actions. Now, within here, we just need to spe specify a couple things to get this basic um, workflow going. We need to specify a trigger when you want the workflow to start. So I'm going to use the own keyword to specify trigger and we want this workflow to be triggered when we push a commit to this repository. Next, we're going to specify an array of jobs using the jobs keyword. We're going to specify our first job and I'm going to literally use the identifier first job. And then within that, we're going to have an array of steps. Now this first job we are going to also specify where this job's going to run. For our purposes, we can specify all types of um, labels for the type of agent we want this job to run on. But I'm going to say, you know what, a Windows machine using the latest version. Within our steps, we can specify one or more steps we want to run. Uh, we're going to run a cross-platform script. That means a script that we, um, even though we're specifying Windows latest, this is just kind of a universal script. So we'll say a uh, node version and an NPM version. So we're just going to say, hey, for this build agent that's running this workflow, check the version of node on it. Check the version of NPM on it. Uh, just a really quick way for us to um, uh, try out this workflow, try things out, see how it works. So we'll save this. We'll say um, first workflow. Commit this to our local repository and seek the changes up to our remote GitHub repository. We'll go back to our browser. We'll refresh. We'll see that our workflow is there. So if we go to GitHub Actions, we'll see that our first workflow has kicked off. There's Bill YAML. There's our first job. It's using an identifier. Wonderful. It's looking for an agent with the label Windows Latest. As of this recording, that'll be Windows 2022. We can actually see a list of installed software. Um, if we click on this link to the GitHub page, it checked node version, which is 16.14.0, again, as of this recording. And it checked NPM version, which is 8.3.1, again, as of this recording. If we go to summary page, we can see a summary of this workflow execution. And we've kicked off basically our very first workflow.